everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is nisha masoor in this video we will get to know about colorimetric sensors in the market now our expert professor himadri b bohidar who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology terry dikan nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research his area of expertise includes Nano science and nanotechnology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics, and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. I just picked it up from the internet this morning, and this is a sensor. It's a colorimetric sensor that is available in the market, and this sensor gives seven different. indicators of the water quality this is used in aquariums and swimming pools and other water bodies to test the ph level water alkalinity nitrate level chlorine carbonate level bromine and water hardness and it's a very simple thing there is a dip stick there strip which has got bands like you see here these different bands are there you just dip it in water for about 10 seconds take it out let it dry for another 30 to 40 seconds then the characteristic color develops depending on how these parameters are present in the water at a particular time and compare that with the table that is printed or the color code that is printed on the box and you immediately get information about the different contents of different of these compounds in the water but this is not a nanotechnology based technique okay so they are basically using biochemistry to develop this thing or some organic chemistry has gone into developing this strip but the point of making this uh, example is to tell you that a colorimetric sensor in principle is possible and a parallel a uh, device or the parallel sensor is already available in the market in the commercial market now we have to work on the nano technology platform this slide summarizes this nano sensor principle that i described yesterday so we have a nano particle here preferably this is a metal nano particle because metal nano particles have the characteristic property of having very strong absorption bands in the visible region you know from the basic concept of of uh, the of material science that any anything that absorbs well also is is a good emitter a good absorber also is a good emitter wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium In short, NSTC is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So, if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in, where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So, just check it out right now. and uh, all metal nanoparticles have characteristic absorption wavelengths be it gold nano gold nano platinum nano silver nano copper manganese cobalt anything they got characteristic absorption wavelengths now when the analyte binds to it that gets changed because as i said yesterday the analyte that we want, want to detect or sense in the experiment gets adsorbed on the surface like case 1 that is shown here you see the analyte sitting on the surface of the nanoparticle and now when we sit on the surface of the nanoparticle then the interface that the nanoparticle had with the surrounding changes if that changes then this is not the same nanoparticle anymore this behaves like a different nanomaterial this is the example that i we saw yesterday we had gold nanoparticles dispersed in air water and oil and then you see that because the interface is different 
when there is air to nanoparticle interface, air to water to nanoparticle interface, and oil to nanoparticle interface, the particle behaves differently and the correspondingly the, the spectra looks completely different. So when you change the interface here because of the adsorption of the analyte on the NP surface, then the properties or the emission property of this is going to change at the end correspondingly the adsorption also will change. So the EV visible signature of this will be different. And the moment the adsorption emission properties change, there will be a corresponding change in the color. So when you have a blank nanoparticle dispersed in water, it will have a characteristic color. After the adsorption of the analyte on the surface, the color will change to something else. That will give you the footprint of the analyte. Now you immediately know the analyte is there in the probe sample. Second consequence of this is, it may so happen that this analyte will provoke the aggregation of these nanoparticles like this. This is analyte mediated aggregation of the nanoparticles and then you have large cluster of nanoparticle here. It has got into an aggregated or cluster phase. As the size increases, this, also, this figure we saw yesterday, the size increases, there is a red shift in the emission in the spectrum. This is the spectra that sees it here clearly. We saw it yesterday for gold nanoparticles. So this will apply universally everywhere. Larger size, your absorption peak will shift to the red side and correspondingly we'll see the color changing. So this is the idea that is borrowed from here that is going to be implemented in the design of the nano sensors. I hope you like this video. Here, I would like to give you an important information that Nano Science and Technology Consortium or NSTC organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSTC in which you can also be a part of like mentorship, patent commercialization, joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nano materials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.